Seize the day! COVID has changed everything. It leaves us with unanswered questions, but God has not changed. I've got a never ending love for you. You know that I will die for you. I've got a never ending love for you. More than enough to see you through. Sometimes, in the midst of uncertainty, your thinking can shift into confusion. It's time to realign your thinking back to how God sees the world, how God sees you and your unique personality, identity and talents. From the very start, you knew all that I could be. You have always known me, you created me. You shine your light as I worship you. You open up my eyes to see as I worship you. You reveal my destiny. Within crisis times, there are difficulties and there are dangers but there are also opportunities. God is still able to turn all things for good. Even if you are suffering a temporary setback, that is not your destiny. Every setback is a setup for a comeback. Don't get distracted or waylaid by circumstances. Don't let the tedium of survival at this time wear you down. Get ready for new opportunities. Get ready for new open doors and get ready to walk through them. Don't get stuck or distracted by the menial or even the urgent situations around you. You may very well miss a new opportunity that can only present itself in the time of crisis. It's time to get a fresh vision. Habakkuk chapter 2 says, Write the vision and make it plain on tablets that he may run who reads it. Vision keeps you looking forward and looking for the open doors. Let's posture ourselves before God to hear His voice and to receive His direction. If you have a vision, you won't get stuck or distracted in the circumstances. You'll be looking for the way out. Write the vision and wait on God to bring it to pass. Lean into the future and allow him to reveal what that looks like. Scripture says, Be utterly astounded, for I will work a work in your days which you would not believe, though it were told you. We cannot wait around for things to get better. We have to look for the opportunities within the situation we are in. Even in turbulent times, there are opportunities. We must believe in Romans 8.28. 
And we know that all things work together for good to them that love God, to them that are called according to His purpose. We all have a purpose in God. Life doesn't happen to you, it happens for you. You came into my life, lifted me up, lifted me out. Your light shone in the darkness all around. You came into my life, cause we to hear, cause we to see. Psalm 90.12 says, Teach us to number our days that we may apply our hearts unto wisdom. We need wisdom to see and to seize every open door that is set before us. Live life with a dream and that will become much more powerful than mistakes and missed opportunities of the past. Joseph was connected to a dream and that got him through every crisis he had to encounter. Now his brothers, on the other hand, were jealous of him and this disconnected them from the dream that they could have been a part of. There is room for everyone. Focus on the vision. Focus on being the best you that you can be. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the whole world. God has a path for you and he has provision for your dream. So seize the day. Thank you, Lord, for lifting up the blood.